Hello everyone, it's Cuban Oak BB. Thank you so much for stopping by to my channel. Today I'm going to be demoing and reviewing the Bite Beauty Change Maker Foundation and the Bite Beauty Powder. I got the foundation in T115 and I got the powder in Deep One. If you're interested in seeing these products, then just keep on watching. Finally, clean and high performance are no longer mutually exclusive. This creamy, long-wearing foundation perfects your skin with buildable medium coverage. The secret, we use antioxidant-rich superfood Mackey Berry and gentle micellar technology that works with and feels good on your skin, even if you're sensitive. So they say it's good for sensitive skin. The Mackey Berry is an antioxidant that helps nourish your complexion, native to Patagonia, known to be one of the purest environments on earth. The micellar technology is inspired by skincare. It gently mimics skin texture for a smoother, non-cakey look. So they say that this foundation is long wearing. It is a buildable medium coverage and it shouldn't look cakey on your skin and it should work well for sensitive skin. But I did notice that this product does have fragrance in it. I don't know why they put fragrance in it and they say it's for sensitive skin. So if you're sensitive to fragrance, then maybe I wouldn't try out this foundation. I'm not sensitive to fragrance. This foundation is clean at Sephora. So they say that the Change Maker Flexible Coverage Press Powder, which retails for $36, is uh, clean beauty and high performance, just like they said about the foundation. The proof is in the powder. It's long wearing, super lightweight powder that lets you boost your coverage for a silky soft matte finish that melds with your skin. That's because it's made with antioxidant rich superfood Mackey Berry. So it has the same Mackey Berry in it that the Change Maker Foundation has in it. Um, and what I do like about this is that it is talc free and it uses volcanic minerals to blur, control shine and mattify. So. That sounds pretty cool. So let's go ahead and get into these two products. I am going to put on my Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. I still have this tiny sample that has lasted me a long time. I still don't know exactly how I feel about this primer. I don't think I've been able to give it a true, fair go. Bite Beauty did release two primers when they released this foundation. They released a hydrating primer and a mattifying primer. I didn't get one of the primers just because um, I have primers. So um, basically what I just did, I just squeezed the product right onto the brush. It does look a little light for me, but we'll see how it looks once we blend it in. And this is my Sephora number 45 complexion brush. I do smell the fragrances in there. It's very faint. It's not anything like strong, but I do want to point out that it is in there. I also forgot to mention that they have 32 shades in this foundation, which is pretty good um, for a first release of foundations. Um, but this is Bite Beauty's first complexion product. And um, I think 32 shades is a good starting point. Definitely more shades than a lot of brands that have been out currently have. Um, you know, in the clean beauty space, we're still waiting for inclusivity from a lot of brands and it's a bit aggravating so I appreciate Bite Beauty um, coming out with their initial release and having 30 shades. My forehead is a little bit darker than the rest of my face so if anything it may look a little bit light on my forehead but I can just use my um, bronzer up there and it should be able to fix it. I'm gonna see if I can build up a little bit more coverage on these areas where I have a little bit of darker blemishes and hyperpigmentation. I really like the consistency of this foundation. It's very smooth. It's a very smooth feeling foundation. It's not liquidy and I appreciate it that it's not liquidy. Um, I'm not a huge fan of super liquidy foundations. So I like that this one doesn't really move and the tube is very travel friendly. That did build up the coverage right there. I'm going to agree with them that it is a buildable medium coverage foundation. And now looking at this color match I do feel like it's a really good match for me and like I said this is T115 in the next tier T is for tan I believe and the next tier is D for deep so I'm surprised that I didn't even get one of the deep shades I probably could fit one of the deep shades especially when I do get a tan T115 is described as a medium tan with cool undertones I'm gonna go ahead and go in with the rest of my regular makeup routine 
I am going to do a wear test with this foundation and powder. I'm not going anywhere. I'm just going to be in my house, but it'll still be some sort of a wear test. It's not going to be like an outdoors wear test or like a full long day test, but I still did want to test it out for you guys. Now I'm going in with my usual RMS powder in three to four. I'm going to go ahead and add some blush and today I'm going to be using the Glossier Cloud Paint in Storm. This is one of my favorite um, liquid cream type of blush products. I just like to take any excess of that blush and just Put it right here on the bridge of my nose just to give it that sun kiss type of look. Now I'm going to go in with the Bite Beauty Change Maker. These names are long. Change Maker Flexible Coverage Press Powder. And I got mine in the color Deep One. And they have, they actually have eight colors in this powder, which is very impressive because most brands don't normally do more than like four powders especially when it's like a powder that's supposed to kind of like set your face and maybe add a little bit more coverage because they say that this can um add a little bit more coverage as well um they say to gently buff powder on with a brush or included puff to boost coverage and i can show you the puff that came with it i'm not going to use it but um just little puff right here and it says bite it's pretty cute I'm going to tap into that powder and just set my face some and I do feel like this is actually giving me a little bit more coverage and color for sure um it is a little dark are y'all seeing this okay are y'all are you really seeing this though are you really seeing how beautiful this powder is setting the rest of my face. I really didn't even have to use the RMS powder to set this area of my face that gets oily. I could have just used this, but I'm gonna add some more. It is so pretty and it's definitely building up the coverage. And up here on my forehead where I felt like it could have, it was like a little bit light just cause my forehead is darker. I can add some more just to give me a little bit more coverage and blend it into my skin tone a little bit better. This is such a pretty power. Wow. I'm really, really loving the way that my skin is looking right now. So pretty. And I love that this powder is talc free. Talc is very pore clogging and it's just not a good ingredient for your skin over time. I'm gonna go ahead and bronze my face with the Balm Bronzer, Take Me Home Bronze in the shade Greg and just bronze lightly bronze my face here i'm loving a good bronzer these days and i am on the hunt for a good bronzer um another bronzer this is more of a cool tone bronzer but i am on the hunt for another bronzer just because um i'm not in love with this bronzer i like it but i feel like there's a bronzer out there that i'm gonna be absolutely in love with and i just haven't found it yet at least in the clean beauty space i'm gonna go ahead and do my eyebrows and apply mascara and i'll be right back so this is how my face is looking i've done my eyebrows i applied highlighter i did mascara and i applied a lipstick as well i will put all my finishing products in the description bar i will put all the products that i use in the description bar along with the shades that i used and this is the finished look and i don't know about y'all but i love the way my skin is looking right now this foundation is really wowing me right now and the powder because the powder just like set it off and i love this like this is so pretty. I might have found my new favorite foundation. Let me not speak too soon. We're gonna see how it wears. Obviously, I'm not going anywhere, but we're still gonna see how it wears. I'm gonna wear it around the house and just do my thing, eat dinner, watch some movies. I'll go as long as I can without falling asleep, and then I'll come on here and show you guys how my face is looking, and we'll talk about the foundation, you know, once we get to the end of the wear test. Let me just come up close so I can show you guys what I mean about how beautiful this foundation is. It really just looks so smooth and it's so pretty. What I forgot to mention about this foundation is it's super, super lightweight. Like it's not heavy. It doesn't feel like, you know how you just feel like you have makeup on, like you just have a lot of makeup on your face. It does not feel like that. It feels super, super lightweight. This is probably 
one of the lightest foundations I've had on my face in a long time. It's definitely lighter than the Cover FX foundation, which I do really enjoy wearing. So just wanted to show you what time it is. It is later in the day, it's 7.45 p.m. Gonna see how long I can wear this foundation without falling asleep. And I'll see you guys in a little bit. I'm back and it is 12.15, well 12.16 now. So it has been four and a half hours when I started it was 7:45. so let me take the glasses off and let's come in a little closer so as you can see where you can see where my glasses were right here on my face but I'm just gonna take my brush and just see if that can easily be fixed just in case I had to put my glasses on for a little bit and I wanted to take them off and let's just see if we could easily fix that and it looks like we pretty much can and I have had my glasses on for majority of the time that um, I've had this makeup on because I've been watching TV and I need my glasses to see the TV and subtitles and stuff like that. Um, but I think that the, the face makeup still looks really good. It did get a little dewier. Um, my nose did get like a little bit oily as you can see and I do have like smile lines right here that I always get and no matter what foundation I wear I always get smile lines right here and right here. Um, they don't look very deep to me. So final thoughts on the Bite Beauty Change Ranger Foundation and the powder. I really really like these two products. I really like the way my face looked especially in the beginning and I feel like it wore pretty well. I do think I will be using this foundation um, when we can start going back to work and in the office. I'm excited to see you know how long and how well it'll wear on an eight hour work day. Um, I really, really, really enjoyed these two products and I look forward to using them in the near future. If you enjoyed this review and found it informative, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I'll catch you guys next time.